This includes things like your facility's locations, strains, and items. First things first, we'll navigate on the left menu bar here down to facility data, and we'll start with locations. So locations are virtual representations of your physical locations within your facility. This can include bedrooms, mother rooms, storage rooms, and everything in between. So first, let's go ahead and click Create Location here in the top right. And we can name this whatever we want to. It's really dependent, again, on what your physical locations are called within your operation. So in this instance, we can just call this one Bedroom Bay 2. So there's some uh, customization here. You can get very granular with uh, your locations. So you can have a room with independent locations within that room, independent sections, bays, storage areas, vaults. And we can assign them to multiple facilities at the same time. Default location type. We can also assign parent location. So this is where that granularity comes into uh, it comes into effect. So we are calling this new location bedroom bay two, but the parent location is just the bedroom. So you can see this data whenever you're searching for plant batches and just to have a more granular view of your plants locations. So once I click create, now anytime that I create new batches of plants or want to update the growth phase, I'll see that bedroom Bay 2 location in the dropdown. Next, here under facility data, we'll touch on strains. So strains are exactly as they sound. These are going to be any strains that you're purchasing, producing, or selling within your facility. So we'll go ahead and click create strain here. And we'll create a new strain called Dream Queen. Testing status, you can set this to none, third party or in-house. For the most part, it's gonna be set as none. We can also set the THC level and the CBD level if available for this specific strain. So an average THC or CBD level. And then also the indica versus sativa percentage. So based on frequent testing, if you have an idea of what the indica versus sativa is, you can enter that here. So that way you have uh, access to that information within the strain uh, menu. And it's that simple. Next, within facility data, we'll touch on items. So items are anything that you are producing or purchasing or selling. So these include bulk flower items, bulk strain option, or bulk flower items, bulk trim items, and as well as individual pre-roll packs or concentrates or vape pens. So anything that you are going to be producing or selling, you want to make sure that you have an item type for that specific product. So let's go ahead and click create item here. And as an example, let's go ahead and create a drain queen bulk flower. So it's important to make the item name as descriptive as possible because there'll be many different items with the same strains and maybe the same products as well. So we wanna make sure that we differentiate them as much as possible. So in this case, we can make a Dream Queen bulk flower. So this is for harvested material that comes out of the dry room, split up into trim and flower. We wanna make sure we have a product type for each, each of those states of the cannabis. An important point here is this item type distinction. So even though the name itself can be anything you want it to be, you want to make sure that the item type matches what that name is. So that way it shows up correctly in the reporting, or if you're using metric, it pulls into the correct item type within metric, and it's assigned to the correct item type. So in this case, we'll choose buds. And let's go ahead and search for our new Dream Queen strain. And then we can choose the weight unit as well. There are multiple reports within Canix that will allow you to convert uh, different units of measure. So if you, if this Dream Queen bulk flower is set to grams, there's a report where you can actually convert that to pounds for you automatically and vice versa. So in this case, we'll go ahead and choose grams and let's go ahead and click create. 
and that's it. Same with locations and with strains. Anytime you create a new product or go to split a package, we'll now see that Dream Queen bulk flower option in the dropdown for us to select for that specific item, for that specific product that we're creating.